G'day, welcome back. Uh, down at the workshop tonight, just wanted to show you the start of the latest project, uh, a bit of an upgrade for the VR6. After two years of searching, I've managed to find a manual gearbox. Uh, the only downside is it's kind of in kit form at the moment. Um, and it's in kit form because you might be able to hear the bearing at the bottom of this shaft is shafted. So uh, it's a complete gearbox. I'll show you the rest of the bits. So we've got a box of bits down there. We've got all the bits to put it back together. But first of all, I need to get that bearing sorted. So let's take you in for a closer look. So yeah, it's a complete O2A gearbox. Uh, I've never done anything with manual gearboxes to this level, so if you happen to have any expertise, knowledge, diagrams, anything else, uh, send them to my email address down the bottom there. Uh, but yeah, start of a hopefully pretty exciting project. Um, not sure how long it's going to take because it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle at the moment. Got to get all that all the insides that are now outsides into back into inside so we'll get that sorted so the next part of the video uh, there's been a lot of talk recently about different beers Steve Robin is Wells IPA that I can't get here for, for whatever reason um, Thomas CXO VCDS he doesn't seem to be a big fan of the Wells stuff uh, but I thought We'll come up with a, a universal way to try and try and measure beers. Uh, so what we got here, we've got the uh, beer I'm going to be looking at tonight. So yeah, we got the to the left. We got Coors Light. Isn't really beer. It's kind of weasel's piss, cat's piss, effluent, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's kind of fizzy and nasty tasting. So that, that's that's the bad end of the beer scale down here. That's I don't know why you drink that, but that's that's a beer. It's available. It comes in a fancy bottle. The label changes colour when it gets cold. If you like it, you're wrong, but that's up to you. Uh, the other end of the the scale, we've got the the Badger English Ales, Tanglefoot, the Thirsty Ferret. That's real beer. That that tastes glorious. That's everything you want to drink. Uh, the only thing with it. It's quite expensive. Uh, it's about six dollars a bottle normally. Uh, Cause is probably about that, only because no one buys it, drinks it. Um, then we got the one in the middle here. Well, I was down at the supermarket today and having a look at their choice of interesting beers and came up with this one. This is Nest Beer, Hitachi no Nest Beer. It's from the Kuchi Brewery product of. Japan and it's supposedly a German style wheat beer fragrant yeasty something oh, I didn't read the last bit banana like flavor and light taste now I hate bananas more than you could ever imagine but hopefully it doesn't taste like bananas it tastes like nice beer uh, what is it it's, I think it's 5.5 percent so it's reasonably strong reasonably strong uh, so we'll crack it open, pour it into our KISS signature beer glass and give it a taste. So into our KISS glass. I normally pour beer into a wet glass for rinse glass, but I didn't tonight. Well, it certainly smells wheaty. So it smells of wheat, slightly fruity aroma. Not a lot of fizz in that. Thomas, you wouldn't like it. Yeah, it tastes of wheat. And it's cloudy as a cloud. I think it might have been strained from a dirty old bird's nest. It's kind of got that 
weird flavour to it. It's kind of like flat, fizzy pineapple juice with some wheat in it. That's okay because my description probably doesn't mean much to anyone. Uh, so we'll go for our scale. So if we have a look at our scale here, we've got our shitty end over here, a tasty end on the here. So where does it fit on this scale? Well. <coughs> Probably right about there, this one. So I say, it's it's flat, it's weird, probably quite normal in Japan, but yeah, somewhere around there. A long way off the top of the table, but slightly better than cause Light. Uh, so yeah, if, if you have a chance, give it a try, let me know what you think, or if I've put you off. That's cool, try something else, let me know what you think of that, and I'll see if I can find it. And There we go, another beer tried. Not going to try this one again. Tastes a little bit wrong, but that's okay. If you've got beers you want to try, try them, make a video, I'll see if I can find them, or we'll compare, compare notes, we'll see where they fit on the scale of beer magic. And uh, until the next time, drink beer.